Hello. My name is Harlan. Today I'm going to take something that the original manufacturer made and I'm going to make it that much better. I'm going to make it awesome, in fact. It might catch on fire, but it's supposed to. Mwah! <laughs> No? Hello! My name is Harlan, and welcome to my new YouTube channel, Avoiding Warranties! It's a show about taking something the original manufacturer made and making it that much better. Or breaking it. It might even catch on fire, we could lose some small, very significant parts. But no matter what happens, this is going to be interesting. Let's get started. This is my first generation Mazda RX-8. And I love this car. It's obvious the engineers at Mazda wanted to create the ultimate driving machine. And they spent countless hours working on the suspension. In fact, when you're driving it, it's like you have a connection straight from the steering wheel to the asphalt. It's amazing. It's magical. It's everything a sports car should be. Except for one thing. They didn't spend enough time under here. Now let's take a look under the hood. As you can see, the engineers at Mazda, they did a lot of things right with this car. There's a cold air intake under the front bumper, a large air box, and these both go to feed the 1.3 liter rotary engine. Now this engine for 1.3 liters makes just under 250 horsepower. And that's really impressive for its size. But you know what's not impressive? This engine in a sports car. It's not bad, but it could be better. You know what else isn't that impressive? the fuel economy. This car gets about 20 to 24 miles per gallon. And that's at a time when other sports cars were getting 25 to 30. But I think we can do better on both. And you know what? There's all this wasted space under the hood that we can use for other things like, I don't know, forced induction? This is also my RX-8, except this one has had some modifications already. The most notable is the turbocharger right here. This turbocharger provides pressurized air to the engine so it can make more power. Now there's a big difference between my setup and most of the turbocharger setups you'll see out there. And the difference isn't what's here, the difference is what's missing. Take a look. No intercooler. In fact, I'm running a high compression engine, a high compression fragile engine, with no intercooler. And the reason I can do that is because I have a water injector going right into the inlet of the turbo. And this water injector can flow up to 800 milliliters of water per minute at a metered rate. Now this water injector and the boost control solenoid, they're both controlled by a controller that I created. And this controller interfaces with the existing car network so I can log it and I can adjust set points on the fly. Now, this whole thing works pretty well as is. The problem is, it was all kind of built in a hurry and prototyped. And I want to do better. I can build it. I can make it stronger, faster, leaner. Over the next few episodes, I'm going to show you why I chose a rotary engine, how I made the water injection work and why I chose it. I'm also going to show you how to interface with your car's existing network for both logging and control. And I might even go into something, oh, I don't know, like ion sensing. I know you don't know what it is, but it really sounds sexy, doesn't it? And I'm going to do it on this engine. Stay tuned for more.